and welcome to my channel. My name is Madison Ely and I am on a journey of relearning and rediscovering my love for makeup. So if this sounds like something that you want to watch, subscribe, like this video and keep on watching. So in today's video, I have been desperate to try this trick but I've been waiting to do it on camera. It's from my beloved Robert Welsh on YouTube um, and it's his concealer trick which is I mean concealer for me is like the main thing I need in makeup like if I don't have concealer I can't do my makeup routine like it just that is how it is for me and his trick is a way of um, lifting your eye up um, hardly using any concealer but still covering that darkness to the point where it, it's fine you know so it's it's enough and so I really want to be trying this trick so I've primed my face with a primer I'm testing out that I'm not sure will, I'll, if it's good, any good I'll let you know. Um, but this is kind of my first time trying this primer. And actually trying any primers, I've never been a big primer until Robert Welsh told me that priming is quite important. So I'm trying it. And so I've just primed my face and I'm waiting for that to sit in. Um, I'm going to use my beloved Tarte Shape Tape because, well it's not beloved, it's just what I've been used to. So I'll know how it sits. And I want to know if using the tiniest bit of this will work because I got into the trend of doing like the big triangle eyes which apparently the more product on your eyes because your eyes are so delicate it drags them down it makes them really cakey so using like hardly any product should look better which is what I'm hoping for and part of his trick is which I'll show you when I do it. But part of this trick is using, you can use two colours. You can use kind of a colour that's your normal skin and then a lighter one to then add that brightness, but the tiniest bit of the light one, which then makes it so it looks brighter, um, but you're still covering those dark circles and whatnot. So how I think I'm going to do this is I'm going to put the darker concealer on first and blend that through. I'm then going to put my foundation on, which I think this is my colour. It might not be because as you can tell my face is like really pale, but I'm actually quite tanned at the moment because the UK had sun for like a week. So I sat out there with my SPF of course and um, I sunbathed and now it's gone all dull again so I can't top it up. And my face where obviously I cleanse and stuff just isn't as brown. Um, yes, yeah, so then I'm going to go on with foundation. And then I'll try the lightening trick with it and then I'll set it really lightly with a powder because he hates baking for the same reason that why would you want to put loads of product under your eyes, it dries it out. Part of the reason why I love him is because a lot of the things he says just make sense. I'll just get into it shall I? So you put a tiny dot, I'll do this side first, in your inner corner and then on your outer corner and I'm going to use a really precise brush this is the Spectrum B03 um, and it's tiny and flat but I think I want a different one this is what I've got this is like the smallest kind of like concealer brush I've got um, and we're just going to tap barely blending that into the skin like you don't want to move the product around if you can help it and bring that up more than anything this the outer outer dot you want to bring up so it lifts your eye upwards and then you want to blend the inner corner in a similar way except that you'll probably bring it into your actual inner corner because that's where you have some darkness but at first you just want to tap on that spot not moving your brush barely anywhere go up into your inner corner I think anyway I've watched this video a couple of times I think this is what he does it might be wrong someone tell me if I'm doing this wrong if you know the trick I'm talking about or the tip um, I'm just going to use my finger so I have some more control because it's getting a little bit out of control and then blend it downwards and then I think what he does with the leftover product you just sweep it under the eye barely anything there just to blend the two together what do we think? has that done anything? I mean it's it's definitely got rid of that darkness and I have barely used any product and actually I used too much there was definitely too much there I can use hardly any of what I just used so I'm going to try this eye I'll do this eye off camera and then I'll come back to do um, the foundation and the neck I should have zoomed you in in the first place 
my bad. Um, but so this is what my under eyes looked like with that first tiny bit of concealer, which it was hardly any compared to what I used to use. And even so, I still think it was too much. Um, but it's definitely covered my brightness. It definitely has lifted, wouldn't you say? So now I'm going to go back, do my foundation. I'm not going to put that much on because I don't want to put that much on. And then I'll try the finishing touch with his where you put lighter to really brighten that area. And we'll see what the verdict is. Um, so I put a really light layer of foundation on my face. Obviously this isn't my colour and I would go up and go and bronze it all up um, once I've done this. But so now I'm going to go in with the lighter concealer which is the Tarte Shape Tape in light. Actually the one I used before was light medium if you're interested. And the foundation I've just used is the Beauty Pie Great Skin Foundation which I do really like um, but I just need it in a darker colour at the moment. So I think... I mean, I need to be really careful here because you don't need that much at all. So I'm actually going to scrape the brush and have literally like no product on there. And you dot it in the same places, but I'm also going to put it here because he lightens like this little bit here as well. So I'm going to dot it there. Slide it there. Do the same on the opposite side. And then just a little bit down here. I'm going to go back in with the same brush that I was using before and do the same technique where you just pass it in place for a, for a while and then gradually blend it out. Um, hopefully this doesn't go too crazy. So actually I'm going to do the inside corner first. And then I'm going to do the outside one. And then whatever's left on the brush just bring it into the inside to join the two together, like so. And then this bit, again, same technique. And then I'll do the other side. So, right now, I really like what the eyes look like. I think that has worked. It's definitely concealed them um and it's definitely brightened them my issue is right i have a bit of redness here so i'm just going to go in with some more foundation on my redness here because i'm hot right now very hot so i get little rosy cheeks so this is it without obviously powder and the rest of my makeup um i like it i think it looks definitely brightens the eyes um there's hardly any oh god what have i done <laughs> Uh, there's hardly anything on there really like compared to what i'd normally use this is nothing and it's done the job and i know tarte shape tape is a like a very full coverage concealer and i'm thinking i might want to invest in a less coverage concealer um because i'm kind of like into more the natural looking skin than like bam you've got makeup on but at the moment i like it so i'm going to dust it with a bit of powder to set it just the under eyes um, then I'll go off camera, I'll finish my makeup for the day and we will see what it looks like and I'll tell you if I think it's worth trying yourself. Okay, I've got my powder, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm actually using a Morphe M510 which I originally got for highlighter but from what I've seen this would be quite a good under eye powder brush because it's fluffy so you'll hardly get any product on there um, and you can just sweep it, give it a light dusting. So I'm going to, I'll do this eye first. Just really light, barely anything on my brush. Um, give that a good like that, which I think it looks really nice. Um, I even think I could have gone slightly. Oops. <laughs> I even think I could have gone slightly lighter with the light one. Um, but it's definitely brightening and I think it's lifting my face. I really do. I don't know if that's because it's meant to and I've got like that placebo effect, but I think it's worked. What do we think? Do we, do we think? Sorry, if I'm looking in there, it's because I'm not used to filming and I can see myself. So I'm looking at my concealer in my viewfinder when I should be looking in the mirror. But I really like it in person. It's really bright in that under eye and okay, it hasn't maybe fully covered my bags because they are quite bad, but like... It's natural. It looks natural. No one's going to go, oh, she's got bad under eyes. It's just like a nice natural makeup look. So 
So I'm going to go and finish my the rest of my face. I'm going to do something very natural. Just bronze up. Put blusher on. Very natural, like, bronzy eye. Probably nothing, maybe, actually. Mm, we'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling. And I'll come back and tell you the full verdict of how I think this tip works. So this is the finished look. Um, I will link all the products I've used on my face in the description box if you're interested to look at that. Um, but obviously right now we're just focusing on the concealer, which I think looks really nice. It It's not cakey. It's, do it's doing the job. It's definitely brightening my eyes. I mean, you can let me know what you think. But I really like it and it was easy really. And you don't use that much product, so it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run as well. So you're not doing that stupid triangle and i think it's got the exact same effect especially when you went down the nose with that really light concealer it just like gives you the effect that you've got that big triangle but you don't have that much product on so your skin doesn't feel cakey like i haven't had to set with powder any ever any other areas of my face except my nose and my t-zone because that's where i sometimes get a bit oily and my foundation can break down um obviously i need a better foundation color that was not it I do have some NYX drops that I will mix in next time when I do my foundation, but I know that now. But no, I really like it. So if you're struggling with your concealer or you just want to try a new technique, I would highly recommend this concealer technique. Um, and let me know what you guys think of it. If you try, do try it yourself, send me pictures. I would love to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.